Okay, welcome to all of you. In this video, we are about to see a burning problem in the research work these days because whenever we are framing something that is called as problem statement, all of us get stuck at this point. For those reasons, this video will give you a simple and clear crystal idea what are the things we have to do. First of all, what is it? What are the things we have to do? What we have to avoid? in a simple steps. Very first one, let us go to the basics of problem statement. First of all, we have to identify the importance. This importance in the basics leads to, to define the knowledge gap, whatever be there, and to understand the problem that is taken for research work. And the next one, the aim here. Now this aim will help us to define a problem in a systematic way such that it will be in a good manner to be read by the your research supervisor as well as the research committee of the university. Next one, problem statement, the main points we have to take care of. Very first one, identifying an issue. Means we have to identify issue or it might be a problem or it might be a gap that has to be addressed with respect to the existing works or contemporary works that are going on the research in the selected concept. Next one, significance of the study. We have to understand what is the significance first. Means where it is used, how it has to be used, what we are going to achieve from this study. We have to make a clear line about it. Next one, need for future work means we should able to demonstrate what is the need for further going in this work such that we can establish an algorithm or we can establish a process or we can establish one method or we can establish some technology with this work like that the need should be addressed next one realistic in nature means the problem should not be a vague. It should be realistic means we should understand the budget behind it, the feasibility, the flexibility, the executability. Is it possible or not? We have to draft the lines in proper way. Means we should be having all the budget, all those things in mind. Otherwise, at the end, we are going to make a mess out of it. There is a one more point. Next one, clear and crystal. Whenever you write the things from the above points, like issue, the significance, need, realistic, that is, uh, not, uh, budget, or all those things, knowledge, they should be written in clear and crystal manner such that even a layman who doesn't understand what is meant by research should understand your problem. If he is able, unable to understand your problem, then there is something wrong in that issue. You might address that issue once again by reframing your work from the beginning, like this, from the issue identification. Next one, the frameworks. The frameworks means here, we should adapt whatever the framework it will be like, conceptual, factual, conditional, whatever the framework we prepare, for our work that must be given in the one of the conditions. Otherwise, the, if a framework is not provided, the work might go in uh, uh, various directions that will lead into confusion that must be avoided. The next most important point is have engaging words. Means whenever you mention some line, the lines in your problem statement, they must be technically correct and have some, what you call, create some interest among the researchers as well as your research supervisor, as well as the research committee. And more than that, it should make you to read it once again and once again and once again. Like that, you should prepare the words to be involved in that statement, not any vague words which are 
here and taking copied from here and there and taking from other places. And last but not the least, review closely. What are the things you have started from issuing identification, significance, need, realistic nature, clear and crystal frameworks, engaging words. You have to review them very closely. It means step by step, you have to review them. Even once the problem statement is prepared, you should aware of that. Is there any problem in any of the previous said lines? Those are going to be addressed. You have to go for any other step which is giving a problem. It might the problem might arise during your reviews in the PhD work or MTech uh, MS or MTech research work or any academic project also. Whenever you go there in the reviews, if anyone asks the question, the review closely must be the last, such that if at any problem, any problem arises, you should directly go to that place and see what is missing there. I hope this video will help you to understand why and what and what are the things that you must be there in a problem statement of your research work. Uh, thank you for listening to our video. I hope in near future, we'll be preparing more videos relating to technical research and, and knowledgeable things. I request the members to kindly subscribe our channel and share our channel among the your colleagues of same mind such that they can be benefited. Thank you for your time.